Phantom Blade is going to be in the inventory for a very long time. So we'll see how quickly he can get that. Meanwhile, Carl sitting top of the CS at the current moment. 7 to 5. Ember only 11 and 4. Oh, a bit one-sided. A lot of damage coming through onto the Disruptor. But Bebby survives. Gabby into that metamorphosis once again. Trying to secure some CS. Doing a good job so far. And Armel sitting at about uh, close to half health at the moment with that bottle. Has one more sip ready to go in that flame dart. But again, Carl just maintaining a, a good position on the CS. Gabby, though, Dyer's getting chased down. And now they're under the tier one tower. They'll get first blood. Ember already has a killing the tower. Ember is the to get the tower off in the top Dyer's lane. But they don't get the Pugna, which is what they really, really wanted. So, T1 are happy to give up. Man, Gabby is not having a game. Already died three times. Nine minutes in on a TV. It's just being at the wrong place at the wrong time. Should have been in a triangle instead. Maybe send Illusion, try to get the last hit with it. Amber puts the pressure. Amber's the one guy that uh, can't really be caught by their heroes. Unless they use a silence, they already killed the Grimstroke. DB once again. <laughs> Roar. Let's see this Amber so far so good in the stage. situation. <laughs> they come back and get any kills out of this. Debbie comes in, Thunderstroke on Carl, looks back. Really that yeah. oh, just blows up. Oh, trying to get something coffee. done, but they're playing with fire, and well, his fire oh, goes out. He can survive that. For th There's just so much damage coming out from Pagna. T1 should use their advantage, what they have right now. Their heroes feel really, really strong. Like leash mechanic against Pango is going to be great. Like against the Ember Spirit, Gabby, Smoke into Triangle. They know which one is real. Sunbury, Sunbury Zephyr, so he'll survive this one. Try to get in and he's going around. And he'll be right in forward. Armel, Sight of Fist, Killing the Zephyr, Primal Wolves, on the tank of Gear. But he's faster caught away from his team. Uh, rest of the team, Knight, there to follow it up. They still get a kill on Febby, so that's okay-ish. Lost a bit of a deal. Uh, the most that they had in a team fight, if they use... And you also want to max out those spells. You want to max out Glimpse first, then put more points in Kinetic Field. I want to see Pit of Malice maxed out straight away. And once you get this Rod of Atos maxed, Pit Dyer of Malice. Are scanning. Have that disabled duration up there and the work with the Rod of Atos, we'll see. They smoked up, they're coming around looking for the Phantom Assassin. This is Radiant a kill they need scanning. to take. And ooh, Phantom Assassin, Remnant. By the PA, one strike away. Do they have the distance to cover? They've got a remnant. Really changed now. Static storm, everything new to get Jackie. Finally, something going away from the CSC with a big kill like that. This gives some. It's quite a lot enough. of damage. It's a budget E-Blade build. You pick Pagna and the Grimstroke, so you don't have to farm that Ethereal Blade. But go away, disarm, now silence, no roll. Next. No get another, Teams ends up dead. Gabby shows up, not too long to be there for Dunsy. That storm's a miss with the kinetic field, and now Gabby They lose themselves to disruption. And Zephyr, he's been caught. Soon chains, right click damage from Gabby. Oh, one second till he's dead, and there's the slight Zephyr gun. And there's not enough damage for TNC to go inside a pit to take the Roche, but there is enough damage to try to take a tier 1 tower on the mid lane. D1. And now there's a smoke from T1. They're doing the same exact thing Dyer's from the other side. Tower. Carl, he gets spotted by the illusion. Let's see if they jump forward. They do KP from half to dead. Whoa, Jackie with the damage. Didn't even need the Abyssal Blade for that one. 
It's just too much damage. Yeah. He is not tanky at all. Has buyback available. He also went for Etherlands, which is very weird. Wow. It's so Jackie One is just shot. ripping them apart right now. It's never fun playing an under farm support against the Phantom Assassin. It's got a lot. Get my back. Get the Phantom Orcs to stick up the stun on the Phantom Assassin. But if you're too deep, Jackie can't no buyback. That's for the soul bind. Double oh, roar, but it's the defensive Ember. one. Keeps Cuckoo alive. Swashbuckle. And then BKB from Zephyr, they all leave. And that's Roach a great in a second. respawn time. For TNC, Tims blinks in. No spot. That's, that's gonna get banged out. Two oh, buybacks okay. instantly. They were waiting for that. Phantom Assassin's like, yeah, I cannot die. I just killed two heroes. We can take the fight. Three versus five, no problem. But this MKB piercing through the evasion is just a bit too much. MKB is a hero. That is transformation. Yeah, they're very close. The big difference is Disruptor being really poor. Crystal Maiden, 3000 gold. That's like one item ahead of a Pangolier. He has E on disc now. He's been getting popped. Going into the shard next. Looking to roll up. And I believe, yeah, Basher was picked up for the TB. He's got a little damn bottle. They're going for the Phantom Assassin. Pops the BKB. So one is used. There's the remnant forward. Sucker Fist here and chains come through. His white bond dies. Jackie's already used the BKB. It's about to run out in just a second. We're going the other way with the Pit of Alice. It hits them. They got the Static Storm. No BKB. A lot of trouble for Jackie. And it's a way to try and get out. He's just cleave kill. <laughs> Femi. Uh, Femi's like, man, why is this happening to me? Like, uh, I, I was not supposed Phantom to Assassin. die. But double damage in the bottle. Let's see who they find. KP. Jackie, KP, Prince coming in. And Gabby with the damage. They go after Jackie. Oh, did he get away? No. What is this damage from Terrorblade? It's gone. Now the soul by BKB, but it's got the abyssal. They're going through the kill on the Jackie rules. Phantom Strike away. Rolling Thunder hits on a Cuckoo. Armel with the BKB trying to chase, trying to find a target here. Static Storm, they got the glimpse. They've got Jackie. Bambi gets it done. Gabby's got the kill. Oh, and now oh, guys getting ball of BKBs out. It's actually the Minotaur board from Cuckoo. The right clicks from Gabby. Nobody can oh, beat this bash terribly. The bash is in. Oh, oh man. man. They know. First hit bash from Thims. And now they're going to the high ground. It's on five outs from both the Pugman as well as the Beastmaster. Low glyph right away. And well, terribly, has got 8,000 gold to work with. He's thinking about what he wants. Soulbind silence. That's the thing out of the TV as well as this Ember Spirit. They got the front order to follow it up. They get the go to RML. They look over the TV. Silence. He can't get it off. Again, and Gabby's gone. That's the combo. Like double Roar, double the Cryptify, double Dagon, and the Hex afterwards to finish it off. I like how Jackie was, you know, I'm good, I'm not buying back uh, one of the trees for TNC. TNC now in the river, there's an arcane rune right there. High ground advantage for T1. They pop the Hex, the Lincolns, they got the Hex. Back the Soulbind down, I think that got reflected. Got the Soulbind on it, both of the Slipper as well as the Underworld. They get the Jordan. PA going down into Static Storm. First one gone has buyback. We'll see if she uses it. Carl on the run with the BKB. The buyback comes out from the Ember. They'll take out Carl. Carl and Jackie are gone. This should be Rose for the side of TNC. They're trying to chase this ring stroke. It's well, but it's not going to be enough to survive with the BKB. Popped by Armel. And he will get the kill on the ring stroke. Three heroes gone on the side of T1. Armel is simply the one picking up that Aegis because he just bought back. back. Uh, Gabby, uh, you have enough money to actually buy the. I, I think you give the, this Agadem Scepter to Disruptor. He's far away from it, but I feel like you should give it to him. It's, it's pretty big. Bangalier. Because it's my favorite point to game. We're right around the tier fives. Can't believe this. Time to talk about it. Game has been going on for 57 minutes. And he pops the meta. Look at that range. For the Crystal Maiden. Yeah, look at the range coming in. Life nice. drain, Flicker, putting him in a better position, having better luck right now than Erica Flicker did yesterday. Available again. Flicker still not hurting him. 
Maybe it's a risky game. You play too many times, you're gonna get burned eventually. Got the head. Now Jack is jumping in. Saves. I think she was live anyway, but man. Almost for the Pangolier. That is a lot of gold saved up. He's not, he doesn't have a Yules already. He's building the whole thing. Straight into it. <laughs> yeah. Thousand gold till the double divine for the Phantom Assassin, who is now level 30. All the towns yes. have been unlocked. Ember's almost got 30. Underlord's going for, huh. E-Blade. I, I don't think you can use E-Blade successfully enough maybe after Dyer's PA uses a BKB then you use it on her but it's, it's gonna be tough I was reporting like it's fine oh, here they go oh, terribly they're trying to get the kill oh Gap blown up Jin with the rolling thunder they've got the life drain onto the ember all they got so far is Gabby they're trying to dark away they're thinking about going out of this one Tims comes in with the rolling thunder and they're gone you can hex Firestorm on top of both of those, or on top of one, like... Uh, he's getting the gold uh, with the Book of the Dead. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Has almost Hex enough gold. Now they go after KP. That's going to be the end. Pop the gun, Static Storm. GTP that gets popped. He's just eaten. They're trying to go after Jackie with the rolling thunder coming through. The BKB no longer going to last on the Jackie. They've got him close back right in the hands again. The Phantom says, I guess they do it. The Phantom Alice right down on him. They've got him locked in the Phantom Alice. The engine's going to be used. T1, the only ones to get away are Grimstroke and this Crystal Maiden, and they bought back on the Ember just like that TNC. They've got control of the Divine Rapier, control of the game, and looking like they might be able to pull out the series. My so deals. Where they so that's from. what we do. So Roche back up, T1 postured on this. They need to be careful though, because TNC, they're knocking on the door, looking ready to go on the base. You're by Roche, but. That's the sound of TNC right by your steps. At this point of the game, I'd say Mega Creeps don't matter. Like, you just need to win Remnant game five in a row. That misses, but the Remnant still searching, looking, yeah. trying to catch this Beastmaster sleight of fist that lands on the Cuckoo for a second. Now they've got the Glepnir forcing out the BKB. Oh, can they stop it? Yes, they can. Yes, There's they the Abyssal. Can. And they'll get the kill on the Beastmaster. He bought back two minutes with that. Oh, man, that Ember can still pick it up because his flyback is going to pull down. And he's the Abyssal Blade. trying to get the kill on the Terra Blade. Oh, he's got Divine Rapier on the deck once again. And now it's looking like the BKB's the top of the Ember, but he's blocking the Storm by the Right on top of the Grinstroke, and it's gonna be popped here by Tim. But Gabby, that's game. The they, they have no damage. Because maybe I'm wrong. Heck, maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Maybe slow this down. Not sure how long they can. It's only 300 gold away for the Phantom Assassin. If they can get something, maybe the buyback will be there. But it's not looking likely. There they go after the tier 4 through the inch 12. Thunder Strike. Tim's going in, but he's gonna die. Eventually, Pugna makes it back inside the base. KP now needing to run out of here. And Pugna gets the throne. Like, just ignore the heroes. Get the throne with all the illusion. Take yeah. the game. There's the victory. And there it is. Game, they'll take the game. the series over T1. A very close 75-minute game. Back and forth. It was anybody.